Murray. Jeff Lee spin, there it is, and uh, miraculously nobody caught him, maybe just touched him there. Nine laps remaining. A good battle for Class A and a good one for Class B too, so a good start of the season, just what we wanted. They had that uh, test day in Sepang, try out the new car and everybody loved it. Henslow, Young, Lee and Bear, same as before in race one. Mark also in a similar position in fifth. Not decided yet on Chong Chia and Chia because that could change. They are running six, seven and eight respectively after that overtake by Chong. Into the top ten now goes Jean-Marc Merlin, the Frenchman. Only Frenchman in the field. He's got a lot of 24-hour endurance experience in sports cars give himself sprint racing but it's pretty much an endurance with the heat that they have to deal with at places like Sepang and even here sometimes. So it'll be an interesting year for the Frenchman for sure. A lot of Canadians here this year. Choi is in 10th place, Yu Tan in 11th, Wayne Shen is one of those Canadians, he's in 12th. Brother John Shen also involved, oh slightly wide there another place taken up. Do get somewhat of a slipstream effect here at the Shanghai circuit. You can see how long the straights are and if you tuck yourself behind somebody you can pop out as this is happening here and get the inside run. But if you get it wrong and don't break that's what happens. So it's horses for courses. You've got to time it right, but you can't change your braking position. So you've got to use the speed to get past, but then brake at the same point you normally would. Otherwise, you'll have that problem, as you saw there, where you just brake later than you should, or later than uh, 10 meters, 15 meters later than you would have done, and you end up going wide. Well, Marchie Lee's done a good job. He's caught right up again with Daryl O'Young. And he's using everything he can Pushed hard there through that corner. And he's definitely sizing up a move. Welcome back, Motorsport Asia bringing you the top action from the Porsche Carrera Cup Asia rounds one and two. We're watching the battle for a top ten place between Merla, Tan, Choi, Wayne Shen, Mac and John Shen. I think Class B, as I said earlier, will be probably the toughest fight of all. I think it's going to be much closer, whereas in Class A, Menzel is going to be favoured again. Now Young and Lee is definitely going at it, and here comes Marchie Lee. Side by side now with Darrell O'Young, but O'Young's got the better line going into the next right-hander. And does hold the line, Marchie Lee can't get round the outside. But that was a tough moment and uh, a big deep breath, I'm sure, from Mo Young. He saw it coming, but uh, just held his line, and that's the key here. Much as Marchie might hand, it's not going to do him any good around the outside. He's got to get up the inside. He's got to get closer to him on a straight like this and dive up the inside. He's not close enough this time, as you see, with five to go. But you get the feeling that Marchie wants past and wants past now. He's not going to wait till the last lap. And the question is where? There's plenty of places to overtake, and he's caught him up, as he does every time through these S's. Marchie Lee is definitely quicker through the slower S's. Uh, then loses a bit of ground in the main straight. Here's another look at another incident. In fact, Jeffrey Lee involved, I think, with one of the Q brothers. That's just side by side there. And cleanly through. Back with Marchi. Red Bull China picked him up, and it's a great sponsor to have to be part of the Red Bull family. Huge. Especially. For a Chinese driver racing in China. 
big, big market. And uh, Marchie, the perfect uh, ambassador, so to speak, representing fast sports. Mental's the fastest man out there. Look at the gap he's got. Great Bear cannot make any inroads either. Stay in fourth place by the looks of things. But if these two get into a real ding-dong battle, I think uh, Baird might be able to benefit from it. Never know with Marchie. Here he goes again, building his way up to another attack. Jeffrey Lee again. It's John Shen, does he? Well, that's John Shen going round. So John Shen spins it in, spins it round. No question that sports car and GT racing in Asia really growing and be honest, Porsche Carrera Cup Asia has been the flagship, so to speak, over the years. And now, with Japan GT also in the region, GT3, GT4, all taking part. Very exciting time for sports car racing. There's no question that the Asian fans love their sports cars. And oh, McIntyre almost lost his sports car there. Lost under braking there, he was cl too close to the back. Lost out. Menzelo Young, Lee and Baird hasn't changed all weekend long. Mock likewise has been in fifth place, leading Class B. Ringo Chong is up to second though for race two. He was third in race one, he's now second. And Francis Cheer is in seventh place, so a slight change of order there in Class B, but nothing in Class A. That could change before the end of the race though. Further back, less drama and incident in this one. And every lap on the track gives them experience, of course. Flames coming out of that car. And that is O'Mac's car, and that's Mac Hing Tak again. So, whatever caused the problem for why he went off earlier has now meant he's out of the car, and that pretty much ends his day by the looks of things. Now that's what Marchie Lee should be trying to do. Up the inside, like that. Oh, but not like that. Oh, they're banging. Oh, banging wheels now. Excellent racing. And they're not holding back. These beautiful cars. They're racing them. Well, he made his point and made it stick. He thought he got it, to be fair. And then he comes across the track only to find his opponent right there. Merlin not giving any an inch. Ah, oh, that's Marchie Lee trying again there, right on the inside. He took my advice. Tried the inside, but still outbraked himself, went wide and has lost his chance. And I would have said that's probably his last chance. Marchie Lee, oh yes, and it's definitely his last chance because something's gone wrong. Looks like he's got a puncture of some sort, maybe, because he went wide at the last turn there. And he's Got some bodywork on the car, touching the wheel by the looks of things, but very close indeed. Oh yes, and bang, it goes, it's disintegrated now on the main straight, and look at that, bits of rubber coming off everywhere, and that is it for Marchie Lee. Well, he tried, can't knock him for trying. Oh, Michael Choi has the same problem for Dyna 10. And of course, Michael Choi is the man that came together with Merlin, and uh, he's come off worse. And so two. Tire incidents have put pay to two Porsche days. Meanwhile, Menzel continues. And Christian Menzel, the yellow peril, is doing a brilliant job. And he hasn't put a foot wrong. And he's sorted out the gearbox problems from race one and takes the checkered flag again. That's two for two for the champion. What a way to lay out his stall for 2010. Darlo Young takes second place. Craig Baird's on the podium this time after Marchi Lee went off. And that's a good result also for the New Zealander. And Mok Wen Sung wins Class B. But what can you say? It's all Menzel. Check on the results then. No change of position at the top. Craig Baird with no Marchi Lee.